Hello, Eugene Edwards here with the Fender Holiday Technique of the Week. Today, I'm gonna to take some country guitar techniques and apply them to a traditional holiday classic, Deck the Halls. Side note, Deck the Halls is an old Welsh winter carol uh, going back to about the 16th century. Uh, the first time English lyrics show up are around 1862 by a mus musician named Thomas Oliphant. Uh, the lyrics had a lot of references to booze. In uh, the December 1877 issue of the Pennsylvania School Journal, the booze was removed, and that's basically the version that we know today. The techniques that we'll be using today uh, will include uh, string rakes, kind of that sort of thing. Double stop bends, triple stop bends, pre-bends, a lot of pedal steel stuff, and some chromatic movement as well. So, uh, so let's get started. We're gonna begin our melody with a kind of a banjo move here that I, I really, really like. Uh, we're in the key of C, and uh, we're gonna put our pinky on the a high E string eighth fret to play our, our root note of C. And we're gonna, at the fifth fret, with our index finger on the B string. So. We've got that. And then we're gonna use our middle and ring fingers to move up chromatically. That's one fret of a, at a time on the B string all the way up to the eighth fret while hitting the high E string at the same time. So we. So this emulates a banjo kind of, kind of thing. And um, you can apply it to anything really uh, to countrify any given chord. You just got to know what chord you're on, find that root as your high note, and then kind of walk up on that B string. So that's how we start this. And then we just play our single note melody. And then I do a double stop bend. Now this is going to emulate a pedal steel move. On the seventh fret of the G string with my ring finger, sixth fret of the B string with my middle finger. Um, then I'm going to have them pre-bent kind of um, uh, kind of half step ish. Then I'm going to strike them with my strum hand and we're going to hear them bend down like that. Then it resolves in the fifth fret, both the G and B strings. Now we can apply this to any melody. The note is moving from the third degree to the first degree. In this case, E to C, you know, uh, uh, da, 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 da. but we're gonna countrify it and bend that G string from the seventh fret almost to the ninth as a pre-bend. And we have a little harmony note above that. So that's a really cool country move. Um, for the last two laws, we will do a chromatic double stop slide on strings G and B from frets four to five. Uh, so, uh, again, emulating a pedal steel or just a slide guitar sort of move. Another side note, the original Fala Laws were sung to replace an instrumental flourish in the ori uh, Welsh originals, most likely a harp. So as guitar players, we're kind of taking them back. All right, I'll see you back over here. We will repeat the melody, but this time we'll use a, a hammer on for the very first uh, note there, as opposed to that little banjo walk up. And the hammer on, again, we're gonna use our pinky at the eighth fret of the high E string. And we're gonna hammer on the B string from sixth fret to eighth fret, using our index finger and our ring finger. Again, striking both strings at the same time. So this is yet another way to kind of countrify a move if the melody is on the fifth degree of the chord, basically. Uh, instead of just hearing. We can go. And then again, we'll do that. The bridge, we start on the G chord, and this is where we're gonna use our string rakes. We're gonna use our, our, it's mostly kind of a palm muting, string muting move. And we, what we'll do is we'll use that F shape half bar, third fret for our G chord. And we're just gonna rake across the D and G strings and mute them. And we'll pronounce the B string. And I'm doing a hybrid I hold my pick kind of in this, this way. That way I can, I can use these two fingers to plug, to really pull up on a string if I really want to get a little kind of spanky twangy thing. Um, but in this case, I'd use the pick the whole time. And then I'll do um, uh, kind of a, 
double stopped again. Then over the A major chord at the fifth fret, that half bar F shape, I'll do my string breaks again. Then an A shape kind of triad over the D chord at the fifth fret. Another string rake, but then I'm gonna pronounce my highest string. And then a really cool double stop pedal steel band sort of thing on strings G and high E. Have the, at the sixth fret, using your ring finger and pinky, and have them pre-bent half a step. So again, we already have them bent before we strike them with our strum hands. And what we want to emulate is, but it's a little cooler when we have that pre-band. So that bridge put together is, or sorry, that's it. Now we get back to our um, original melody, the original, the final verse, and we'll wrap this up with yet a different uh, pedal steel bend. So that is another really common uh, triple stop bend we do on guitar to emulate the pedal steel. So what we do is we take our pinky and we place it across the eighth fret of both the B and high E string. And our ring finger is at the seventh fret on the G string. And we're gonna do a, a full step bend on the G string while also playing the B and E strings. Um, and again, we can always do this whenever our melody is approaching or just on the third degree uh, of, of any chord. In this case, we're on, the, on our C chord and we wanna hear the E natural note, which would normally be played the ninth fret of the G string, but we're gonna bend up to that guy and then bend back out of him and resolve at the fifth fret of our G string, which is our root note. And then for the final little flourish, eighth fret B and high E strings, we do this bend. So this is, again, B and E strings, eighth fret, the high E string stays stationary while we bend all the way up a full step on the uh, B string from fret eight, kind of bending up to fret 10, if you will. Give a little bit of a, Shake there, and then play the rest of the melody, but maintain the pinky on the eighth fret of the E string. Then that triple stop bend. So that's how we use classic honky tonk uh, guitar techniques to countrify a beloved holiday classic. Try and use some of these techniques uh, to another holiday song of your choosing. There's a holiday playlist on the Fender Play site. And uh, what's most important is to have fun with it. Thanks for watching and thanks uh, to all the jolly elves at Fender for letting me join in the holiday fun and frolic. See you on the next one.